Alright, what's up? What's going on guys? Captain Monk here. In today's game, we're playing some Lucian AD Carry. Now, I have a lot to mention this game, so I'm going to try and make sure I stay organized and get it all out of the way. Uh, first things first, Lucian was recently, I don't want to say reworked, but he was recently adjusted. Because he was like a top tier AD for so long. And, well, they adjusted him so that he wouldn't be so, I would say, pickable. Like, he was the kind of AD where you could pick him into any team composition and he just fit because he's so versatile. And so they kind of I'd tried to adjust him so that he would be super versatile and he'd be uh, more composition specific and would be not, you know, the best AD in the game, basically. So um, what I'll go through is I'll just quickly go through the changes um, as fast as I can here because I have many things to discuss before we get into lane. Uh, first things first, they'd reduce his range to 500 so that he wouldn't be so easy to lane with. So he's got the same range now as Sivir or Kog'Maw. However, Kog'Maw has his W to increase his range, so Kog'Maw can't really count, but Sivir has the same range. And Sivir's not a terrible champion. Like, she's not using a whole lot anymore. But when they first reworked her and stuff, she had a 500 range, and she was still viable because her ulti was so good, which made it so that she was still mobile enough to be effective, if that makes sense. So um, that's one thing. They also made his Q have a lower mana cost, which is really nice. And they made it so it has full damage to minions. And it's also its range for its cast, like the cast range is 500 the same as your auto attack so um, they reduced that as well because it used to be 550 just like your auto attack again um, his w is the exact same this patch they did recently in a few patches ago reduce the ap the ad ratio on it so it would do less damage but it's not been changed Re like this patch it was re it was like two three patches ago his e has been experiencing a lot of changes his e now has um this new thing where um it has no mana cost at any rank it used to have a mana cost and it would go down or um actually i'm not paying attention here just help this guy out with that. But yeah, I used to have a mana cost that would go down by rank, which is the opposite of what would happen normally with some champions. Some champions it would stay the same for all ranks, or it would, um, I actually might miss this minion here. Once I can get closer. Yeah, oh, oh man, it looked like I got it, but I didn't. But um, yeah, the mana cost goes used to go down by rank until it would hit no, ma no mana at like the rank strength for the ability. But now it has um, no mana cost at all ranks, which is kind of nice. So it makes it so that mana sustain in the lane is really quite easy, which I really like. So that's one pretty big buff. Another thing they adjusted on him was they made it so that um, instead of... You guys know that whole culling reset thing where if you had your E on cooldown, you got to kill with the culling. The E's cooldown would be reset. Well, they adjusted that, so now it um, doesn't have that anymore. Instead, what it has is if you hit opponent with your um, passive shots, it will reduce the cooldown. And if you hit a champion with the um, passive shots, it will reduce the cooldown by two. So that's really big. Because if you get into a fight and use your dash, and you hit your the champions a whole lot, and use abilities a lot, you reduce the cooldown by a whole lot. So that's actually really good. So I think Lucian is definitely a nerfed champion. Like, he's definitely not as good as he was. But he's not unplayable by any means. I think the nerf is actually very good. I think his, they went a bit too far with his range. I think they should be at 525, like Graves. But with that said, he's still pretty strong. So it's not a big deal. I'm going to try and hit Varus with that there. And you'll notice I'm being really passive. And the reason for that is because it's really difficult to commentate and play at your full, I would say, capabilities. So if anything happens that distracts me, I'll probably stop talking. And I want to get these things out of the way because I have a lot of things to mention. Um, the culling has not been changed. So that's pretty much all the changes summarized for you guys for Lucian. And I'm just taking the wave over here. And they're pushing us in a little bit because Varus keeps using his E, or his Q actually, excuse me. We got level 3 here, so we're in a decent spot here. Uh, we could look for fights. And we get this. And he misses Q, so we can't go on that. But if he hit the Q, we probably could have done something. Um, but in this lane, we kind of need to be aggressive though, because it is a Soraka. And Soraka has a lot of sustain, so we can't really... At least she provides a lot of sustain to Varus, so we can't really be passive. Dodge that with the E. It has no mana cost, so I don't mind wasting it. Or just using it frequently. Let's just wait for this to get to tower and then get it. Looks like you got the shield. That's fine. I don't think I'm going to be able to get any of these, which actually kind of sucks. So I'm going to use my W here just to poke them a little bit. There we go. But um, I guess while I've covered all the Lucian changes, I should mention um, some other changes in, I guess, my channel that I should mention. Um, first things first on this other list of things to mention. Because like I said, I got many things to mention. I recently set up a Spreadshirt, so if you guys are interested in purchasing any merchandise, like, you know, Captain Monk merchandise, be in t-shirts for guys, girls, and kids, or um, if you're interested in purchasing cases for your iPhone that have Captain Monk's logo on it, check that out. And I keep talking like about Captain Monk as if it's not me, which is kind of weird. But yeah, um, you can check those out. The link for that will be in the description below. The stuff is decently well-priced, I would say. It is really high quality, though, so it makes up for it. 
So I, def I recommend you guys check it out. Um, I made the designs myself. They're not really complicated though. So if any of you guys do do any graphic designing, I was trying to get the auto attack reset with my E, but I didn't. Yeah, if you guys do any graphics designs and want to have your designs of you know Captain Monkey related stuff on these spreadsheets, let me know and um, we can set something up so you can make designs for the for the website because that'd be really cool. It looks like we got Wukong coming in here, so let's go on to Varus here. There goes his heal and his flash. There goes the exhaust onto him. I got my E coming up here soon, so I'm just gonna dash in here and kill him. There we go. Wukong took the kill, but it's alright. Still first blood for us, we got an assist. And let's pick this up here. And yeah, we'll just push it toward to tower. And um I guess while we're just pushing this, I may as well mention the next thing. So um uh, actually, I should probably just summarize. So yes, um, if you want to check out the stuff with spreadsheets, check that out. The link to that is in the description below. And also, uh, if you make any designs, let me know. And if you want to make some designs for the site, I can help you out and we can work together. It'll be cool. Um, I miss all those. Damn. Next thing I want to mention here, guys, is um, skins for lol and uh, skin shops. If you guys don't know about all this, um, basically every YouTuber that I know of and every streamer I know of was partnered with some sort of rare skin website, being you know Ace Skin, Skins for Lol, um, or you know Lol Skin Shopper. There's other ones, of course. And I'm just gonna get a Blade Water Cutlass here because I think Blade Ring King is the best starting item on Lucian right now. Because BT's nerfed, and BT used to be the best thing to go with. They nerfed that. They buffed Blade Ring King um, for Lucian at least. They reduced the life steal on it. They reduced the attack speed and they reduced the attack damage. But they buffed the on hit, which makes it so you do a lot more damage, in my opinion. So I like it a whole lot. The IE was also buffed, and IE is a good idea, but in my humble opinion, if you cannot get the BF Sword in your first back, it is not worth it. If you get BF Sword, then go for IE first, but if you can't, just go with Bilgewater, because I think it's just a whole lot better overall. Um, next thing I want to mention here, guys, is... Oh yeah, the skins websites. I was already started that. Um, with the skin websites, they... Pretty much every YouTuber was partnered with one, including myself, and it was a huge benefit for YouTubers to be partnered with the skin website, because it provided you with skin codes to give to your fans, and they also provided you with, um, well, of course it depends upon which skin website you're partnered with and what your contract was like. But for me personally, I was paid monthly to advertise um, their product, which I was totally happy to do because they gave me skin codes in return to do that. It typically gives to you guys, so it was just a win-win for everybody. However, Riot didn't really like them doing this because a lot of skin websites, not skins for lol by any means, but a lot of skin websites were um, using unlegit skin codes. And also, we can actually fight this guy here. He has no summoners. Alright, there's a kill there. Nice job. Yeah, he had no summoners, so we can just run at him. And just out damage him. But um, a lot of skin websites actually would scam people and not use legit co skin codes or just not even give them to them. Like, they, the, the uh, customers would purchase the skin codes and then get nothing. So, um, Riot, I don't agree with their action, but what they did to compensate for this was they deactivated all skin codes. Which, again, like I said, I don't agree with. I think if it was me, what I would have done is I would have, in, like, not exactly interviewed, but just kind of checked out and did some research upon all the different skin websites. And from there, made a decision whether you should shut them down or, um, you know, let them do their thing. Because there's a lot of skin websites that were completely legit and not doing anything wrong, and their skin codes are now gone. And all that profit that they would have made from some of the skin codes is now gone because... Oh man, I took a tower hit there. I didn't want to take that tower hit. But yeah, like, they just got completely screwed over. That's an example. Um, Skins for Law got completely screwed over. So that kind of sucks. But um, there's some websites out there. I'm not going to say any names, but they're definitely completely ripped off. Actually, no, I'm, I don't, I'm not saying the right word. That um, we're trying to rip people off, and that shouldn't happen. So those people, their sins codes should be shut down. But I think a better action, instead of just shutting down skin codes, because you can't really tell who's, who has switched skin codes, um, what they should have done, in my opinion, is Riot should have just said, like, hey, like after they'd done some research on these skin websites, if they believed the skin website was unsafe and didn't have a safe product, they should have said, like, on their um, their Facebook page or on even on the client, just, been, just went and said, hey, this website, their rare skins don't exist. They sell, they're a scam. And boom, everyone would know about it, and no one would buy that for that product, and boom, instantly that business would be gone because everyone knows that they're a scam. That's what I would have suggested they do, instead of just deactivating the skin codes, because like I said, there was a lot of legit ones that have now been ripped off, so... Um, that part summarizes that. So yeah, no one, no YouTubers are partnered anymore with skin websites because none of them can afford it because they're not selling any skin codes anymore, so... 
that kind of sucks, but it's also kind of good because there's a lot of them that were scammed. So it's 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 a, I think I think it's a it's a neutral thing for us YouTubers, but for the skin websites, it obviously sucks for them. So sucks for them. Um, next thing I want to mention here, guys, is um, streaming and Facebook and Twitter. Uh, recently, I haven't been streaming a whole lot because I've been playing other games. I've been playing a game called Rust. It's a pretty fun game. If you guys follow my Facebook and Twitter, you'll know that because I've been posting on there trying to get you guys to play with me. But, um, just keep farming here a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I, on my Facebook and Twitter, I post when I am streaming. I also post about other games and stuff. So if you guys want to stay updated to the channel, make sure to follow my Facebook or Twitter if you have one or the other or both. Because that will keep you updated to when I'm streaming. It will keep you updated to when I'm playing other games. And I'm playing with subs and stuff. So if that sort of stuff interests you, you should definitely check it out. I also post on there about like what champions I'm going to play in my next video. And so if you want to have your voice heard and suggest champions for you to play, uh, that is the place to do it. So make sure to check those out if those things interest you. Because, yeah. So to summarize, Skins for Lol, no longer partner with them. Um, check out Spreadshirts because I'm selling merchandise on there for a pretty decent price for the quality of the products. And if you guys do make any graphics, check it out there. And this guy just healed Dominion. What the hell is he doing? And so just keep farming here. I like pushing them into turret because it allows me to um, farm safely, I think, because they're so busy trying to get the minions under the turret for them. And also, like, we have wards, so I'm not worried about the jungler or anything. It looks like Wukong's coming over here. I'm not really sure why, because we can't dive them. They're not low at all because of Soraka. All right, actually, I, th I think I'm going to let them push out, because that way we can fight them a little bit more. But yeah, when I'm talking like this, I like to push them into turret because it, it um, discourages fights, basically. But now because I've pretty much covered everything I wanted to mention, which is a lot, like I said, it was a ton of stuff that's been going on, um, I think it's a pretty safe time to now look for fights. Yeah, I'll just freeze, and the wave's gonna push towards us. And maybe we'll get a fight. Uh, try is warded. Alright, got that one. Get this and nice double shot on him there. I can go back and get Blazer and King anytime I choose at this point, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna push it in, take Blazer, get Blazer and King, and then go back. This is boring, man. Uh, Brom's going a little ham, but yeah, we're fine. All right. So I'm, one thing I also meant to mention, considering I've covered everything else, is the team. So on our team here today, guys, we're playing with Dorshar, playing Wukong in the jungle, Doidin playing Vladimir in the top lane, the Sonic War playing Brom support, and the noob that pwned playing Zed in the mid lane. So sorry it took me so long to cover that, but like I said, a lot of things to cover in this video. So luckily I got it out of the way. I can get a health potion and a ward just in case Brom misses a spot and I have to fill it in. I can cover him for that. Damn, I feel really happy about that because I've done this commentary a few times and I haven't actually got around to explaining everything really smoothly within the first 10 minutes of the video. So that's good. I'm happy about that. So now we can, f you know, now that the action is like starting to actually get underway because the you know, early game is pretty boring mostly in season four. So now the boring early game action is like done and I've covered everything. We can get into this video and we'll have a good time. So sit here and farm, push this way but a little bit so we can. Or I'm about their minions being in our face. I'm also going to rearrange this so that I have Blade of King on 2, because that's what I'm most comfortable with. Wait for this minion to get a bit lower, and there we go. Alright, so uh, let's fight these guys. We should fight. Alright. Ooh, that, that Brom missed. That Brom alt missed. <laughs> Oh, he's lagging a little bit. That sucks. Go ahead. Juke that. Yeah, with the new Lucian, I find that his range is definitely lower, which is not a good thing, of course. But his kit gives him so much uh, mobility now because of his E being changed with the passive. And his boot... Oh, I should also message his base movement speed was also buffed. It was buffed from 330 to 335, I believe. Let me just check this. Yeah, 335, so it's a little bit higher as well, so he's a bit more mobile, which again is nice. I'm just going to pop my ulti here just to do some damage. There goes half your health, so that's good. Yeah, let's just push these guys in and keep poking them. 
I was trying to hit Varus there, but I kind of missed, which is alright. But as you can see also with the Lucian changes, mana sustain is really easy. Like, you'll notice I'm spamming my spells, but the Q has a lower mana cost, and your E doesn't use mana, so it's just really easy to sustain your mana. You never run out of mana, it seems, which is really nice. They got a TP coming in. Braum doesn't seem to notice it, but we're out of here. Um, I'm going to dash away from the Varus ulti here. I'm going to pop my heal here just to keep Braum healthy. He's my Blathering King, and there he goes. He's down. So that was a 3v2, and we just actually destroyed them there, which is nice. Yeah, Teemo didn't do much because he didn't blind me. He blinded uh, Braum. Yo, we can get her. What? I got two shots on him and he's still deep. He still went back. Okay, well, we gotta move up because there's minions. Uh oh. I'm gonna pop my flash here. And dash, and I'm out of here. Braum's taking a few tower hits, but he's alright. I'm gonna push this in to make um, Varus miss XP. And I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah, let's go. I'm out. <laughs> Run your penis off! Oh, having no mana cost in your E is so nice. I cannot express that enough. It's so great. Uh, we're sitting at 136 CS at like 16 and a half minutes, which is not perfect by any means, but it's pretty good considering we've got some kills in this lane as well. However, the main reason that we're managing to do this is we're having a very uneventful lane because it is a Soraka lane, which kind of makes it hard to, I want to say, you know, have a lot of skirmishes, but I've also been forcing them into tower in an attempt to try and, I guess, stay focused. Because if I'm pushing them into the tower and I'm not having to actually fight them a whole lot and they're just having a farm lane, it was easier to talk about things. But as I'm walking back to the lane here, I'm going to turn my fan off because I just noticed I left it on. And although it's really hot right now, because, you know, summer, of course, it may be causing some background noise. So the less background noise, the better. I have a background noise remover tool on my Audacity that I used to record my voice, but still, less less background noise, the better, right? So get all of these. No, not going to miss any minions here today. And let's just keep farming. So yeah, I think Lucian is probably like a tier 2 AD at this point. Like, the best ones would probably still be Twitch, because Twitch is so good. His stealth and his damage output that he provides in T fights is just so good. Uh, Braum has not warded this. I'll ward it for him. But, um... Yeah, it's really good. And... I think Kaelin's really good, because they buffed the IE, and IE's really good on Kaelin, as you guys saw from my video. Uh, it was a pretty bad video, because I was like silver at the time, so I didn't really know what I was doing a whole lot. But... Uh, with that said, though, I think at you and Caitlyn is still the best thing to do. And with the BT changes, BT is not really viable anymore. I'm just going to try and dash to the side here to get out of tower range. He's my Blade Iron King, and he is burst and gone. If Soraka was here, she could have kept him alive. But what? What? He just ulted. I don't think he meant to do that. <laughs> Alright, whatever. It's fine. Let's just get over here and take this turret. And I'm going to pop my two health potions here, because I have... What the heck are you doing? Now nah, I'm not going to get those hits off. I'm going to dash in here, just to be annoying. Because she can't do anything to me, right? So I can be really aggressive. And my E is on a, such a short cooldown because of my passive hits reducing the cooldown. So I'm pretty safe. Uh, I'm just going to pop my ulti on her here, just to harass her. Oh, can't get her. Oh, can I? No, the Q didn't hit her. Alright, well I could just force them off of me, so that's good. I think Blade of the Ring King is a really good item for Lucian, because not only does it provide me... Oopsies, I still got hit by that. Not only does it provide me with attack damage and lifesteal and attack speed, but that passive makes it so my double shot hits twice, and it's really strong. Yeah, if he gets close to me, I'm just going to dash into him like this. No, I was out of range. That's the reduced range coming to play right there. Normally, that would have hit, but I'm not used to the reduced range, and so I couldn't hit him. Yeah, we should just leave. We shouldn't overstay our welcome, so we should just get out of here. So it looks like our team's doing pretty good this game. Oh, another thing I should mention that I see it is um, with this patch, 4.12, they also introduced buff timers and dragon timers and stuff like that on your client. And I think he knows I'm here. Yeah, he knows I'm here for sure. I should leave before he snipes me again. But yeah, it's it's pretty great having timers like this, because if you see the, the camp die, you can use those timers to actually see. Like, you can see blues up in 20 seconds here, or, you know, estimated 20 seconds. And that's that's pretty good information to have, because it allows you to not have to put in the chat, because some people like to spam chat and stuff like that. So it just makes it a whole lot easier to know what's going on when, basically, if that makes sense. Buff timers are great. I'm, I cannot wait to jungle on this patch. I haven't jungled at all in this patch, because I've been practicing for this video. But I think I think jungling on this patch is going to be really fun and really competitive, because everyone's going to know the timers. 
Uh, normally in like higher elo, people put timers in the chat and they just like type it out like this and they go, uh, they would say like 15, 6, no, not 65, 45, and they put TR for their red. But now like you've got it all right here, which is really nice. So I think that's going to be really good. Um, now that we've managed to clear up Bali, I'm going to clear up, or at least clear the towers out. I'm going to um, clear up the farm here, like push it to their base, and I'm going to rotate mid and help them push in mid. This game looks really one-sided, and I think we're probably going to win this game. Uh, pretty quickly, honestly, but there's still some things to be had before we can totally win the game. Yeah, let's go mid here because there's some things we have to help out with. The Kali's in the area, and so is Varus. I don't think we should fight this because we don't have our mid laner. But if we can, you know, if we find out where, what are their, what are their fourth? Yeah, they're, see, they're all four here. We cannot fight this because four are here. Yeah, he's just dead. There's nothing we can do about that. Dashed away from that. He's going in, and I'm actually doing a lot of damage to Aatrox here, so I'll just do that. If I can kill a Kali here. There we go. I might actually be able to kill them all here. I'm going to flash just to get the, the pass, the uh, red buff. Oh, I upgraded my E by mistake. I'm going to use my heal here for the speed buff so I can get the red buff procs. And I get this bitch. Gotcha. There we go. Okay, so we're sitting at 7-0. We got 4 kills there. Holy crap. Yeah, what we just did there was we waited for Wukong to go and get them all low, and from there, we just wrecked them. And they were staying on Braum ulti for a little bit there, so that made it really easy for me to just chase them all down and poke them all down, because I'm super fed this game. Which is nice. Being fed's nice. I, I think we all agree upon that. Being fed's really fun. So let's just clear the golems here, just to just to be BM, really. And just take their stuff. And I'm going to go back to base here, pick up some items, because I'm fed. And Teemo Shrooms! Get out of here, Satan. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> a little inside joke I have with my friends is that Teemo is Satan himself. And Satan's mean, and that's what Teemo is. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come mid here and see if I can help out my team. Look like I'm getting into a bit of a skirmish, and I think I can help. Alright, there goes the passive from Aatrox. And let's just get some autos on him. There he goes. He is down. I'm putting the W like I meant to originally. And I'm just going back to base here. This game is really one-sided, and normally, in this sort of scenario, you know, we have the man advantage. I'd be like, oh yeah, let's just push mid and get their inhibitor, but I don't want to end this game. This game is really fun, and I have more things I want to show you guys with Lucian and build more items. And in that sort of scenario, I would rather extend the game as much as possible. So I'm going to grab a pickaxe here towards my Infinity Edge, because Infinity Edge works really well with Yuma's Ghost Blade. Because uh, Yuma's Ghost Blade gives you attack damage, gives you crit. Crit is good with IE, because IE makes your hits hit really hard. And cooldown reduction, cooldown reduction is really good on Lucian because you want to spam your spells. And then active is really, it also gives you armor pen, which is of course really good. Armor pen means basically more damage. But it also gives you the active, and this, there's the surrender belt coming out here, guys. I was trying to avoid it by not pushing their base, but you know, you only can do so much. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this game here. It shows off the rerocked Lucian, and I also mentioned a whole lot of things that were really important. Um, just to recap real quick, guys, check out the Spreadshirts if you're interested in any Captain Monk merchandise. And if you are a graphics designer and want to help me set up more different kinds of designs for t-shirts and stuff, uh, hit me up and we can maybe work something out. Um, skins for the world, long probably with them, but, you know, rip <laughs> skins shops, that's pretty much all I can say for that. Because, yeah, their skins don't, don't have any codes anymore, like they have no codes to sell anymore. Um, and yeah, check out Facebook and Twitter, guys, if you want to be updated with the channel and know about upcoming videos and stuff like that and streaming. And if you're playing games like Rust, like I mentioned earlier, Rust is like a game that's kind of like Minecraft and DayZ mixed together. It's really fun, actually. If I'm playing a game like that and I am and I post it on there and you guys want to play with me, you can't know about it unless you're following one of those two things. So uh, make sure to follow the stream as well, guys. If you want to know what I'm streaming, make sure to follow it so that you will be emailed when I'm streaming. And that's it here, guys. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, of course, and subscribe for more because i got more videos coming out um, probably probably sooner than weekly. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to start uploading more than just once a week because I have more spare time on my hands now and I should stop wasting it. So, yeah, that's it here, guys. Hope you guys like the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Not next week, next time. So, yeah. Peace, guys. This is the